BMW appears fully convinced that hydrogen is the future of the automotive industry. In fact, direct quote. We wish more people would do this because batteries alone will not be able to do the job. There's too much uncertainty. We need a new technology and this could be it. BMW claim their new hydrogen powered SUV has been a huge hit and that they're going to take it to the next level. If you want, you can probably buy one. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I personally don't believe hydrogen will play any part in the future of transportation in any way, whether that's long haul trucking, buses, trains, cars. It's finished. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? It's fair, fair enough if you do. However, there's been a lot of analysts and experts lately saying hydrogen is finished. Now, when it comes to other, other things with hydrogen, different story. Steel manufacture, hydrogen, renewable hydrogen, very important. It can play a big role in other industries outside transportation, and I do think it will. But BMW and, well, BMW and Toyota are really the two last remaining stalwarts believing hydrogen cars will be a real thing. In fact, also Honda and General Motors have been secretly working on hydrogen powered cars for the last few years and they've spent apparently billions of dollars as well. A hydrogen powered BMW iX5 or an X5 powered hydrogen BMW apparently has been a hit in California, Germany and the Middle East, says BMW. BMW say that the response from its pilot program of 80 hydrogen powered iX5s has been encouraging and the company is remaining invested heavily into the technology. Speaking to Automotive News, Jürgen Guldner, General Program Manager of Hydrogen Technology for BMW, who wouldn't have a job if he said that hydrogen wasn't going to work, said that hydrogen power is being positioned as an alternative energy source in addition to EVs. People are saying, this is cool. We wish more people would do this because batteries alone will not be able to do the job. There's too much uncertainty. BMW deployed a small fleet of iX5s to gauge interest and generate feedback from users. Program participants from Germany, California, and the Middle East had some insights that apparently have made BMW believe that yes, hydrogen powered vehicles Passenger vehicles are in fact the future, and BMW have made publicly public statements from a number of executives at the company within the last few months where they've said that they believe in the 30s, the 2030s, hydrogen-powered cars will overtake EVs and become the dominant form of transportation. I think this is Disney fairy nonsense, but hey, that's what they think. Maybe I'm just missing something. Now, I should point out that BMW also are planning on adopting Teslas like 4680 cylindrical cells. So that's an interesting development at BMW as well. Apparently users who bought the BMW iX5 hydrogen appreciated the fact that the vehicle's range was stable between both summer and winter months. Now I should point out, I'm curious as to know whether they were where they were actually charging them. But anyway, those in hotter climates also enjoyed that they could run the air conditioning without the fear of taxing an onboard battery and reducing range. However, Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer went on record earlier this year saying that hydrogen was not competitive and that the company, the Volkswagen Group, would not be pursuing its future. Instead, they'll be putting their entire energy and financial resources into electric cars. And that gives me a lot more confidence that the Volkswagen Group will succeed that BMW could have some challenges. Remember, Audi is part of the Volkswagen Group. They're obviously a direct competitor with BMW. BMW continues to put faith into the, in their mind, a likely reality that its hydrogen cars will soon enter production in the mainstream and become a popular type of transportation. The company's new class platform, which is actually its new EV platform, will form the basis of all new BMW EVs going forward, says Car Scoops, and potentially be able to support the integration of a hydrogen drivetrain. In other words, BMW are basically hedging their bets. Same platform will use hydrogen and electrification. 
obviously it has to have some level of compromise for that to play out. The goal for the company's engineers is to make hydrogen tanks that can fit inside the space that would normally be allocated for EV batteries. Now, like I said, there will have to be some compromises to make that work. BMW's long-term roadmap is to put a hydrogen-powered vehicle into production in the mainstream by 2030. To achieve this, they're investing a lot of money. In fact, they've teamed up with fellow hydrogen stalwarts, fans, aficionados, Toyota. And they'll research the future of the technology pouring, I'm gonna guess hundreds of millions, if not more than that, into using fuel cells with Toyota, basically developing the future of what they say is the automotive industry. The Toyota Mirai is the only hydrogen powered car on the market in most countries worldwide. And Toyota have a similar ambition to get a hydrogen powered Toyota Hilux on sale by the end of the decade. They believe that they can get you from driving a Toyota Hilux powered by petrol and diesel and just move you straight into a hydrogen powered one. Of course, there is a little bit of a problem there because there's not many hydrogen refueling stations. In fact, most countries around the world don't have any. Australia has only three, I think, that I'm aware of. And yeah, that could present a little bit of a challenge to get people to make this change. Now, I'm actually really curious to know what you think, especially if you're an engineer. I personally have done the maths, and I think by 2030, um, if you look at the current cost of hydrogen, there on average, a hydrogen powered car is about twice the price of an EV, in fact, slightly more than twice the price of an electric car in most places where they're sold. So the cost of hydrogen needs to come down enormously. But the problem is battery pack prices just went down 10% in July. They're down 25% on average industry-wide this year. We're gonna see continued declines in battery prices and energy density is going up at the same time. Uh, it's gonna be very, very tough for hydrogen powered vehicles to make economic sense because simply to build out that hydrogen network, it's gonna take a huge amount of money to invest Will investors be wanting to take that enormous risk of building that network out when they know that an, a massive EV push is being made by pretty much every country on earth right now? I'm highly skeptical that that'll happen. But what do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.